Hey everyone, Vinayak here. I had in an earlier video unboxed and reviewed the Anycubic Mono 4K, a resin 3D printer which does bring with it some safety concerns, especially when handling the resin. The task of cleaning the print and curing is time consuming and pre-curing resin is not safe to touch. So to make it easier to wash and cure my prints, I have with me the Anycubic Wash and Cure 2.0. So how does this help? Let's check it out. Let's unbox the Wash & Cure station. This looks quite similar to the actual Mono 4K 3D printer with similarly coloured cover. But the similarities end there. We have two sections to the station. One is the washing container which comes with the washing basket. Here's a reflective film within. This is used for curing. We have a manual too. This is the included power adapter. This is the washing container which has magnetic mixing blade at the bottom. There is no motor in the container. I'll show how it works in a bit. The max capacity of the container is 4000 milliliters, which would be generally isopropyl alcohol. The provided basket allows you to drop and lift the print out of the container. Here's the curing station. We have these UV LEDs which would help cure the print. This is the reflective sheet from earlier which is used to reflect the UV light to cure the prints from the bottom. This is the cool part. This little gear within will magnetically power the blades on the wash container. We have 12 UV LEDs on this model. This is the curing platform which would slide onto the gear below. Let me get the washing container ready, filling it up with isopropyl alcohol. I have very little left so we'll need to order more. Within that time, let me set up the print and this is the cat bus from Gilby's My Friend Totoro. Fit it onto the build plate and slice. This is how the UV light from below is going to harden the resin on the Mono 4K. Copy it onto a USB drive, plug it into the printer and start the print. It's going to take around 2 hours 30 minutes and we need around 80 ml of resin. This is how the model looks once printed. We can still see the resin dripping off the model. Now remove the build plate and the good part is that the model can be placed into the wash container with it still being on the plate. There you go, but I don't have enough isopropyl alcohol. And I have a new container full, so let's start filling. We need to bring the level to at least above the model. If it touches the plate, there's no problem too as it'll get cleaned also. Here's the device with its LEDs and display in front. When we turn it on, we can see the time displayed as 0000. We can set a maximum time of 60 minutes. The red light is on wash and tapping on the button on the left, we can toggle between wash and cure. But as I need to first wash the model, on the curing station, we need to open up the cover and remove the curing platform and reflective sheet. Place the washing container on the marked area and this is how it looks. Set the time, I have set 10 minutes and push the knob to start. The LED next to wash turns green and we can see the blade rotate within. We can see floating resin particles. The blade causes a cyclonic movement within the container, effectively cleaning the model. The blades keep switching between clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation. Once the wash timer completes, we can hear an audible alarm. Now let's get the model out and after a few more dips for good measure, we don't even need to touch the build plate as it comes out with the wash basket. But as I need to get the model off, I am removing the plate. Once the model is off the plate, 
which I had to fight it quite a bit, but it did come off with only a broken leg. Place the curing plate onto the gear below and place the model on it. Select cure, set the time and push the knob. You might notice it doesn't start as we don't have the lid on and we have an audible alarm. This prevents us from getting exposed to the UV light, which is dangerous. Place the cover on and the machine starts. The curing station rotates the model and this makes sure all sides of the model are equally cured. It is also recommended to turn the model to the side so that the undersides also cure well. So my print had a broken leg, which is a more of a me problem than anything to do with the Anycubic wash and cure. Nothing a little super glue can't fix. The model came out clean and I think is cured. I generally place my printed models in sunlight for a day at the very least to make sure it's completely cured. But a few minutes in the curing station is equal to that. I set the curing time for 10 minutes and for good measure ran it for another 10. So how well did the Anycubic wash and cure station work? Quite well, I could place the model, build plate and all within the washing station making it easy to not have to remove the model before washing. We know that the model is cured if it has a smooth matte finish on it without any wet and sticky residue. Being white in colour, there is no colouration but I have noticed earlier that if you over cure transparent resin it can turn yellowish brown. Getting the model of the build plate was a bit of a task which caused it to literally break a leg. But once I got the model off, I placed it in the curing station and everything went relatively smooth. There are other methods to cure resin. Some users use a UV nail lamp which is generally used to cure fake nails. And another abundant resource is the sun. But what takes a few minutes in a curing station takes a few hours in the sun and there's no guarantee that a model will be evenly cured in the sunlight as we are not turning it and would have to do it manually. This station does make it easier to wash and cure the models and especially allows you to turn the model continuously so that all the sides are evenly cured. This is something we can't always make time for and this station eases the process. I like my wash and cure station and I will be printing more. So what are your thoughts? Would you pick up a wash and cure station? Which brand would you pick up and why? Make sure to comment below. Also make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.